In this video, we're gonna walk through the payoff structure of a call option and a put option. Now, in this example, we're looking at a call option that has a premium of $10. So if you wanted to buy this call option, you would have to pay $10. If you sold it, you would receive $10. And an exercise price, so we've denoted X as exercise price, of $100. So whoever owns this call option, can exercise it at this strike price here. Also, we're gonna denote the stock price underlying this option as S and the value of the call option as C. And as you can see by this formula here, C, the value of the call option, is equal to the maximum of the underlying stock price minus the exercise price of $100 or zero, so this call option can never be less than zero. Now let's put some potential stock prices in here. So let's say that stock could be zero dollars, or it could be equal to zero plus ten dollars. And let's just copy this formula with control C and paste it all the way down. So we're just gonna paste formulas. And so here we see this underlying stock price could be anywhere from zero to $150 in this example. And you could assume that this would just continue on um, infinitely. Now let's find the value of this uh, payoff to the long position. So this is the profit for whoever's long this call. It'll be equal to the value of the call C minus the premium of $10. So let's do equals. Now to find the value of C, we're just going to do max, and then we're gonna do S minus X. So S here, the stock's price is zero minus the exercise price, so that'll actually be negative 100 or zero dollars. So the maximum of these two will be zero, and then it will actually be minus the premium because whoever is long the call initially paid that premium. And let's hit F4 to lock this in place. And let's also hit F4 on the exercise price to lock that in place and hit enter. And now if I do control C, we can paste this formula all the way down with a right click. And so we can see on our uh, payoff diagram here, so this long call, whoever bought that call is gonna be out $10, they're gonna have lost $10 all the way up to $100. But then once they get to 110, that's their break even point because they can sell a stock that's worth $110 for $100. So, or sorry, they can buy a stock that's worth $110 for only $100, so that makes them 10 bucks, but they did pay $10 for that option. And then as we go with the underlying stock price higher and higher and higher, the person who made that call or bought that call has infinite ability to make more and more money as the price increases. Now let's value the short position, which should just be the opposite of the long call because this is a zero sum game. So it's gonna be equal to the premium, and I'm gonna hit F4 to lock that in place, minus the maximum of S minus X. I'm gonna lock in X with the F4 or zero. And once I close that, see, we'll see that when the long position is down $10, the short position is actually up $10. I'll hit Control-C to copy that, and let's paste formulas. So it's just the exact opposite. So whoever sold this short call, or yeah, who sold the call short, will be up 10 bucks until this goes past $100, and then they'll start losing as exactly as much as the person on the long side of the call is making. To show you really quickly how I made this diagram, all you really need to do is grab these three columns like this, go up to insert, and then where it says recommended charts, click there, and then just go to the fourth one. And you'll see this looks a lot like the one I've mapped out here. I just made it look nicer um, off of the recording. Anyways, now let's go look at the uh, put option. So the put option is very similar to the call option. It's just that um, you can see that and I should change this here. P is equal to the max of the exercise price minus the stock price. So if we look back at the call option, it's reversed. So the maximum of the stock price minus the exercise price for the call, but now it's my, the exercise price minus the stock price. And so what this is saying is that for whoever holds the put option, it's better if the stock price goes down or decreases 
because the exercise price minus the stock price will increase in a positive direction if the underlying stock price decreases. So you would go along a put option if you expected the price of the stock to fall. So let's do the same thing. Let's say uh, $0 here, and then this will equal uh, 10 plus this value here, and then we'll just do Control-C to copy, and then we'll just paste formulas, right? So we have all these potential underlying stock prices. Now let's value this position to the whoever's long this put option. And so it's going to be equal to the value P here, which is just going to be max the exercise price, and I'll hit F4 to lock that in place, minus the underlying stock price right here, or zero, right? So this right now is going to be equal to um, 100 minus zero, so that's going to be 100 bucks, minus, and then the because whoever's long the put had to pay the premium to become the owner of that put, it will we will subtract that premium, and I'm going to hit F4 to lock that in place. So that's 90 bucks. If the stock price falls all the way to zero, whoever's long that put is going to be up $90. So their maximum payoff is $90. However, um, if this stock is ever $100 or less, they're going to be down $10 because they paid $10 to own this stock, but they can't actually exercise it. But now their break-even point is actually $90 here. 90 is zero because they can sell a stock for $100, that's only worth $90, but they, so they're up $10 there, but then they're out the $10 premium they initially paid, so that makes a break even of zero at $90. And then as the stock price goes down, 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 they just keep making more and more money. Now let's value the short put, which is gonna be equal to the premium because whoever sold this put option received that $10 premium initially. Let's hit F4 to lock that in place. Subtracted by maximum, of the exercise price, F4 to lock that in place, minus the underlying stock price, or zero. And this will just be the opposite of whoever's long, right? Because this is also a zero-sum game, just like the call options. And then let's paste the formulas. And so whatever the long is gaining, the short is losing, or vice versa. And we can see for whoever uh, sold this put option, they received 10 bucks, and then as long as the stock price doesn't go below $100, they keep their $10 profit right here, as shown by the orange line. But then as the stock price falls, they continue to lose more and more money until they hit their max loss of $90 when the stock price reaches zero. Thank you for watching.